All right, let's do a um, short demonstration on how to test the controllers. Um, on this side, I have a computer CRT monitor uh, connected to a PlayStation 2 running an app called Pad Test. Uh, you have to have a modified PlayStation to run it or a memory card with free Mac boot to be able to run the app. So the advantages of testing on a PlayStation 2 are going to be clear now. So you can do two controllers. I only have one plugged in right now. That's why you, you see it in here. If I unplug it and plug it in on the second controller port, it's just going to come up down here now. If I unplug it, put it back on the first port, comes back up there. So let's start with the uh, bumper button. So if I push the bumper buttons here, you can see that um, the numbers go from zero to 255. If you do that on a computer, and I have on this side a computer set up with another controller that I'm going to connect here that I know it works. Okay, let's connect these two. All right. So if I do the same thing and um, push the bumper buttons, they're just going to load up here. Doesn't matter how hard I press them, they're just going to tell you they're being pressed, but not how hard. The PlayStation 2 controls are pressure sensitive, the but all the buttons are. So look at here on this side of the screen when I push these two buttons. So if I gently push them, they barely register. And if I push them harder, the harder I push them, the higher it goes. And that's like really hard right now. Most games don't support that, you know, it depends on the game. Uh, but to truly know if your buttons are working, you have to test on a PlayStation 2. The computers are not going to do that. The D-pad also has the same feature. See? Left. Right. Up. Down. So basically this row here is the D-pad. The, the top row um, is select and start. When I push them, at the same time you get two asterisks. These are not pressure sensitive, they're just like on off buttons. And then in the middle is R3 and L3. Also not pressure sensitive, they're just on and off. Uh, the uh, triangle button, same thing. If you hold it really hard, it goes to 255. If you just push it gently, see, it's like in the 20s. If you push it like medium, goes to the hundreds and the harder and firmer you push the the higher the number goes same thing with the the other buttons so basically these buttons here pressure sensitive the d-pad pressure sensitive and all the triggers uh, select and start or not r3 and l3 or not the the analogs obviously those are also sensitive depending how high you push so basically this is your analog area and below is the d-pad so the d-pad will tell you sensitivity and the analog as well you go up you go down uh, when you go up you're gonna be using this up and down but uh, the reason why it's counting here is because when when you go up and down you don't perfectly you can't perfectly center the, the stick because no one's no human is perfect you know you usually usually go a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right but that's normal so this one obviously works perfect and then this row here rx ry lx ly is basically the center so uh the middle of 255 is like 123 125 so it's if they're in between 120 and 125 or 128 ish uh, they're centered. See, if I move my right, see, it goes to 255, that's the maximum, and to the left goes to zero. If I go up, it goes to zero. If I go down, it goes to 255. So these are perfect. All these buttons work really well. Uh, the other thing you can do if you hold triangle and then you move up, wait, no, uh, triangle and then D pad up, you can test the rumble if it works or not 
uh, there, you don't have anything on the screen that tells you if it's working. You just feel it on the on the um, on the actual um, system. I don't know if you can hear it. Down. Uh, activates it, and then when you let it go, it goes to center. And that, that's the the this the left side controls the left, and then D-pad controls the right. So on this controller, there's probably no right um, rumble because it's not working, or it's disconnected. But it's okay because this is my test D-pad, my test controller. I don't, I just use this to test, so I don't care about the rumbles. So on my um, on this side, on the computer side, with my good controller, uh, none of the buttons can detect sensitivity for pressure. There's no, there's no way to do that on a computer. They tell you if they work on a quick way. Oh yeah, you know you can go up, down, left, right, and then you can see uh, the analog working. L3 and R3, select and start. Square triangle, circle, X, but you can't really tell if the pressure sensitivity is working. Now you cannot you cannot test the rumble either. So don't test on a computer. Uh, test on a PlayStation 2, either with a game that uses all the buttons, or with the with an app like the Pad Test app that works really well. And I'm gonna tell you another reason why you shouldn't test uh, on a computer. Not all the PlayStation 2 controllers can be tested on a computer. The Mitsumi uh, model or M model, like this one here, that has a question mark. Uh, does it work? Well, it depends where you test it. If you hook it up to the computer here, watch what happens. Okay. Let's, let's show you here on the screen. When I push the buttons here, they work. All the buttons seem to work. D-pad works, select star worked. But look what happens when I move the analog. You get this weird ghost motion that you don't get when you are using a, a, any other control like the Alps or the Mitsumi but with the uh, sorry with the Hori or the or the uh, Alps but with the with the M model you get this like a phantom like a ghost motion see it's like flickering both analogs are doing that and, and every M model will do that so uh, luckily uh, the M's are rare so I don't get many but this control is actually fine, you know. There's there's something wrong with it, so I'm just gonna remove this sticker and I'm not gonna put in my quality control because I didn't even open it. It's fine. Its cable is fine. Um, thumbsticks are fine. This controller just works. Now I'm gonna unplug this controller and plug it in on my port two here on the on the computer on the uh, PlayStation two. Let's take a look now. The PlayStation two now. The analog works just fine. See, there is no ghost motion. It, go, it does what it's supposed to be doing. It goes from minus one to one, and it centers. Same thing with the other side. It's the only way to test it is with an actual console. So um, that's the best way to test the controller. See the um, R three L three work. All the triggers worked. All the face button works, the D-pad, everything is fine. This, there's nothing wrong with this controller. Look at the analog. Perfect circle, goes to center, returns where it needs to be. It's fine. So this controller, um, nothing wrong with it. So test on a console, not with a computer.